Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make image cards look beautiful on your site. Image cards are a great way to make your site look really good. I'm gonna show you an example of what it looks like when it looks really dialed in, and then we're gonna build it out ourselves. Okay, cool. So I'm here on a client website and they have this video intro and then this like nice section here. And then this is an image card. You can see here, this is really beautifully laid out. Looks really nice, really elegant and sophisticated. Another one below it and then another one below it. Looks really, really good. And so we're gonna walk through how to set this up right because sometimes when you set this up, it cannot look the best. Okay, so we are here on a client site. This is their about page. They have this intro text here. It's really beautiful and really nice. And then we have these image cards. So we have three of them. You could see as they're laid out here, uh, they lay out really well. The text is really nice. The sections are very elegant. They flow really nice. Boom, you go into the next one. It's really well laid out, super clean. And then they go into the final section. But here you can see these three beautifully laid out. We're gonna build them now. All right, so I'm here on my demo website and what I'm gonna do is hit add section and you could add any section with the new uh, uh, Fluid Engine editor. I'm just gonna do add blank with a classic editor and then come in here because we just need this image block. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this plus sign and then once I do that, I'm gonna click on image. Then once I do that, I'll click on the plus sign, select from library and then I'm gonna do a free image. And then I'm gonna do one of these images. I'm gonna pick this cityscape here. This looks beautiful. I'll add this in. And we're gonna use this for our example. Great, the image is uploaded, looks beautiful. What I'm gonna do now is click design. And then from inline, I'm gonna click on card. So this looks really great already. Then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change this text just so it reflects a little bit of what we just had. I'm gonna do experiences and I'm gonna do it like this. Boom, cool, that looks great. And then here, I'm gonna make this larger text. So the font here is a little funky, so this is not the most ideal case, but we're gonna see what we can do with it. Okay, uh, let me move this over. Uh, and then right here. Cool. Okay, great. So I added a little bit of text. I got the header. The only other thing I want to add right now is I'm going to go to content and I'm going to add a link, which will be an actual button. And the button will say uh, experiences. And then here, all forward slash it to experiences, but I don't really have the page. So it'll just go to services. Okay. So this looks all right. Um, let me get out of that. So this looks all right, but we can do better. And this is the one major tip that is gonna change everything for you, is click back on the image and then go to the editor on the specific image. So I'll just click edit here. And then once I do that, I'll come in here and I'll click on crop. This is beautiful, it makes the process so easy. I never really use this tool or this tool, but I always use the crop tool. And what you could do is you can come choose one of these sizes. Uh, you could choose nine by 16, you could choose four by five, or you could choose three by four. In this case, I'm gonna choose four by five and use that as our starting point. And let me pick a point that I think would be good for this one specifically. Maybe right, I'll go right here. Great, cool. So that will be my spot, I'll hit save, uh, and once I hit save, it's permanent, uh, is great. But you're gonna see right away, this is gonna look so much better. Boom, just like that, it's so much stronger. The prominence it has on the page is so much clearer, and it really highlights the photo and the text in a really nice way. When the photo is more of a portrait style photo, it doesn't really balance well but this balance is really nice. It takes the space in a really nice way, flows really well. Now, if you wanna make further modifications, you can. Two other things I would definitely think about would be if you want to add curved images, um, curved corners to the images. So you can come in here and design wise, go here and then do something like this. Let's try 30, 
perfect rounded corners. Just bear in mind, you want to remember that so you do it consistently across all. So one's not 20, one's not 15, and one's 30. You do 20 across the board. Also remember how you cropped it. Whatever you crop this image, you want to do for all other images on the site so it's consistent. If you use three by four or you use four by five, uh, or the other one was 16 by nine or whatever that dimension was, make sure you remember that and use that for every single one. It makes the site look consistent, which is more on brand. It's a really nice touch. The other thing I'd consider here is changing the section. So you can edit the section so that it is content width medium or smaller. Small might be too small, but here is a little bit less space. It takes up less space on the screen is a little bit tighter, it's really nice. You could play with this and adjust this as you like. Typically when I make sections like this, I do it on three separate sections, not just separate images. So let me explain. Let me get rid of this text box here so it's consistent. So what I do when I create sections like this, I'm gonna change the background color so you can notice it a little bit more. That's beautiful. Okay. so. What I do here is if I want to create three sections on top of each other, what I'll do is I'll hit duplicate, create the next section, go back in here, click on colors. I'll change this if I need to or whatever I need to do here. And then what I'll do as well, let me see if I can change this. Where can I change this? I'm going to change this to the opposite side. So design, image left, image right. So I would do it like that. Boom. And now you have this flow. So you go from section to the next section. The spacing is exactly the same. It's identical. And then for the third one, I would just duplicate the first one again. And then I push that one down. And most likely I'd actually keep these all the same color because that would be the best flow. So you can see here, I'm going to hit save. So you can see here, this is beautiful. This is really nice. The feel is really nice. The spacing is really nice. It's really clear. And then you go into the next section. Really beautiful layout. I'd probably actually try to make this image a little bit taller from whatever crop I did use. I think I used four by five. I might try to go for that nine by 16. That can be a really nice feel here uh, for these sections. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.